For more on this, Trevor Long joins me from Barcelona. He's a media and technology commentator and the editor of EFTM.com. Uh, great to have you here with us on TRT World. So how significant of a breakthrough is this? Well, this is a massive breakthrough because for firstly to move to human trials was a big thing and now to get the reports that that person that took the first implant is actually able to control a computer. So to put that in perspective, what they did several years ago with uh, with monkeys essentially was uh, teach a monkey to use a mouse and then have the monkey control the cursor on the screen with their thoughts with the Neuralink implant. It appears, uh, based on what Elon Musk has said in a, in a live kind of chat on, on his social network X, that uh, this human uh, patient has been able to control the cursor on a screen by simply thinking. And that is, as stated previously, just a remarkable advance if it can be maintained over the months and years ahead. Trevor, how long before we see this being used on a larger scale? Look, they talk about this being a 10-year trial. So I think we, we have to be very cautious about this in the early stages like we are because there will be down periods of this as well. There'll be disappointing outcomes. And hopefully, uh, you know, that's monitored over the course of the next few years by regulators. And I think the other most important thing I'd point out is we've only heard from Elon Musk here. We haven't heard from any health professionals. We haven't seen the patient. We haven't seen this demonstration. So we have to take a little bit of caution in the way Elon Musk communicates his... Uh, his excitement about these things and wait for uh, actual medical uh, responses to these uh, these advances. And Trevor, how do you think uh, this technology might evolve uh, in the next five to ten years? Yeah, I think the big thing here is initially it's it's about communication. It's about that you know someone who's uh, lost use of their of their movements of their arms and legs can actually control uh, computer conversations via via thought. The push from there will be what else can it do? So. You talk about, uh, you know, brain injuries, you talk about um, diseases of the brain, the potential for it to potentially impact those things is unbelievable, but it's very early days. And Trevor, before I let you go, what kind of uh, regulations do you think uh, governments across the world might introduce uh, to uh, tackle this uh, chip? Yeah, I think this is the critical thing is we need to make sure that these companies exploring this space are being done with full oversight of the uh, food, drug and medical regulators in whatever countries they operate. So good, good news is that's happening at the moment and we need to make sure that continues to happen both in America or anywhere in the world where this kind of trial occurs. And Trevor, one last question here very quickly. What do you think Elon Musk is going to come up next? <laughs> well, I think, uh, I think if you think about it and your package earlier, it makes it very clear, you know, electric cars, space, uh, social media and uh, and chips in the brain. Uh, I wouldn't even imagine what he'll do next. But you know, he's he's very hell bent on on getting to Mars. So I think that's that's the big challenge for Elon Musk. His his goal to get to Mars is yet to be achieved. So that's the big one for him. Trevor Long, uh, thank you very much for talking to us here on TRT World. Uh, really appreciate Cheers. your taking out the time.